the roaches come in from out here, they shoot up underneath the J-rail and start infesting inside the walls, okay? Roaches are thigmatropic. Thigmatropic. Let me, you can, you can say that however you want to say it, thigmatropic. However you want to say it, I believe that's the correct spelling. If it's not, you know, who cares? But this word right here means that they prefer to have pressure on three sides of their body at all times. It's the way that they feel safe. I'll give you an example. Mammals use our, we use our vision to feel safe. If we put a blindfold over Riley's head, okay, and tell him to walk across the freeway, he's going to take that blindfold off before he walks across the freeway. He doesn't feel safe. Well, most invertebrates like roaches, scorpions, crickets, they don't feel safe unless they have pressure on three sides of their body. It's how they've survived for so long. They stay in cracks and crevices. It's different with mammals. We, we rely on, on vision. I tell you this because it's not normal for the roaches to come out. They prefer to never come out. They would prefer never to see the homeowner. Just never, ever come out. They always want to stay. They don't want to walk across that freeway with a blindfold on. Okay? I'm trying to explain this. But it gets so crowded back there and uh, so populous that they start coming out. They're start, they start to be forced out. They're cannibalistic. They'll eat each other. The weaker ones are going to flee. Okay? So they won't run out along this pipeline and hang out inside the cabinet. A lot of times they'll, they'll, there's a backing to the actual cabinetry. It's not the sheetrock. In most cabinetry, there's a backing. Okay? And it's, it's maybe just a, an eighth of an inch between the sheetrock and the backing of the cabinet. And that backing is a great location for roaches to hang out between the cabinets and the wall itself. So they'll hang out you know, in between there. And at night when it's dark, they might run up around up onto the, the sink looking for soap, scum, looking for toothpaste, things like that, OK? Hair follicles off, the, you know, off of a hairbrush. Every now and then, one falls into the sink at night and runs around, but cannot get out because the sides are too slick. Eventually, the sun starts coming up, and he says, I've got to get out of here. So he shoots down the drain and hangs out right by the water. He's like, cool, new place. Going to inhabit this place. Okay? He can't get all the way down into the sewer because this is called a pea trap right here. It's, it's always full of water. That's what the green represents. The water prevents gases from the sewer lines and pests like roaches and uh, mice from coming up the drain. These roaches will never come up the drain. And then Betsy comes on in, in the morning time, turns on the water. She sees no roaches, right? She turns on the water. The water comes out of the spigot, out of the spigot, down into the drain, and starts to flood this guy. So he comes running out, and she thinks roaches are coming out of her drain. But they're not. The roaches are infested in her wall. One fell into her drain and was hiding there for her because it couldn't get back out.